The world of aircraft engine technology is buzzing like never before due to the launch of the Game Changers that not just meeting, but redefining the industry's toughest standards like the CFM Rise and Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84. Their debut has caused a stir, and once they're installed in commercial aircraft, airlines are going wild with excitement. Why? How both new big engines will change the aviation industry? Let's find out in today's episode. Since the early 1980 SOS, fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions of CFM engines have been reduced by 40% compared to the engines they replaced, thanks to technical innovations. Future engines need to further enhance improvements in these areas. Announced in 2021 by CFM International, a 50-50 joint venture between GE Aerospace and Safran Aircraft Engines, the RISE program is pushing technologies to support flights aiming for more than 20% fuel savings with 20% lower carbon emissions compared to current commercial engines. This is a huge and critical challenge to achieve the aviation industry's long-term climate goal of net zero carbon emissions by 2050 for commercial flights. According to Arjen Hegeman, General Manager of Advanced Technology at GE Aerospace, the RISE program will be in full swing by 2024. The RISE program demonstrates the fundamental technologies that will enable CFM to determine the optimal engine architecture to meet aircraft specifications and development schedules. With over 1 billion hours of experience, it has a unique understanding of how its products are used daily. As a result, CFM products continuously set the industry standard for these two critical parameters. The technologies refined as part of the RISE program will serve as the foundation for the next generation CFM engine, which could be available by the mid-2030 Shiraz S. The program's goals include reducing fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions by more than 20% compared to today's most efficient engines, as well as ensuring compatibility with alternative energy sources such as sustainable aviation fuel, SAF for short, and hydrogen to further reduce emissions. These engines are expected to be among the pioneering efforts to develop aircraft engines with higher efficiency and greater environmental friendliness. So let's take a look at their structure and specifications. The pursuit of increasing thrust performance has driven the development of engine fan diameters in commercial jet engines over the past decades. This progression has ultimately led to the open fan concept now being the most efficient option for improving engine thrust performance. The advanced open fan architecture will be demonstrated as part of the RISE program designed to fly at speeds comparable to current single aisle aircraft which is up to Mach 0.8 or 80% of the speed of sound while meeting anticipated future noise regulations. Composite carbon fiber blades produced using a three-dimensional weaving process allow for larger fan diameters to enhance thrust performance. An advanced compact core will increase thermal efficiency and significantly reduce fuel consumption. Additionally, a hybrid electric system is being introduced in a single aisle propulsion system. Engine performance will be optimized by providing additional electric thrust while generating power for both the engine itself and the aircraft. The RISE engine is expected to generate around 30,000 pounds of thrust, placing it in the category of LEAP turbofan engines. Therefore, it is clear that CFM International's initial focus will be on the single aisle market. However, growth could be achieved by expanding the fan and engine core. The engine, designed with advanced metal alloys and ceramic composite materials, will also enhance thermal efficiency. This design promotes engine technologies to be compatible with alternative fuels such as sustainable aviation fuel and hydrogen. It can reduce carbon dioxide emissions across the fuel's life cycle by up to 80%. A prime example. Recent tests on the next generation high pressure turbine of the program conducted in a demonstration engine at GE Aerospace's headquarters in Evandale, Ohio, have confirmed that it can provide significant improvements in fuel efficiency and durability. This technology will be valuable to another crucial feature of CFM's rise is a compact engine core. In 2021, NASA awarded GE aviation contracts to test and mature new jet engine core designs, including compressor, combustor, and high pressure turbine technologies to improve thermal efficiency. To demonstrate the feasibility of hybrid electric flight for commercial aircraft, GE Aerospace is also collaborating with NASA and Boeing in NASA's electric powertrain flight demonstration program. 
This partnership follows a history of collaboration between the manufacturer and NASA. Meanwhile, testing of the highly anticipated open fan engine architecture for the RISE program is ongoing and will continue into 2024. CFM RISE could be used on Airbus's A320 NEO family of aircraft, including the A319 NEO, A320 NEO, and A321 NEO, to provide improved performance and fuel savings. It also has the potential to be fitted to Boeing's 737 MAX family, including the MAX 7, MAX 8, MAX 9, and MAX 10. This engine aims not only to enhance fuel efficiency, but also to minimize noise and carbon dioxide emissions while being capable of operating with future biofuels and synthetic fuels. This is part of the aviation industry's long-term strategy to achieve sustainability goals and reduce environmental impact. Thank you so much for following until this part. We appreciate your support. Help this content reach more aviation enthusiasts by like and share the video and help us reach 20k subscribers as soon as possible by subscribing to our channel. Now, let's move on to the next part to explore the amazing features of another engine. Another potential new upgraded engine is the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84. Simon Burr, Director of Engineering, Technology and Safety, highlighted Rolls-Royce's focus on further enhancing the fuel performance of the 84 variant engine, which is already successful in its current form. The Enhanced Performance, EP for short, variant of the Trent 84 was introduced at the Singapore Air Show in 2016, with Singapore Airlines placing the first order. This EP model incorporates technologies from the higher thrust Trent 97 engine used on the A351000 and insights from the advanced test program. It aims to improve fuel consumption by up to 1% and reduce carbon dioxide emissions compared to the current XWB84 engines. Rolls-Royce is also planning additional improvements by introducing turbine discs made from a new and proprietary superalloy, branded RR1073, which was originally developed for the Ultrafan program. These discs are designed to withstand temperatures around 50 Kelvin hotter than the current RR1000 material, providing a more predictable lifespan. The EP model will also feature a new process for redistributing cooling air through the high-pressure turbine blades, significantly reducing temperatures. Turbine discs made from this new material are already in production and will be introduced to both the XWB84 and 97 engines next year. In the fact that the Trent 84 today is upgraded compared to the standard 84 variant includes improved turbine cooling and aerodynamics enhancements to the secondary air and sealing systems between stages and further optimization of the turbine blade clearance control system. Besides, Rolls-Royce is enhancing the Trent XWB 97 engine to improve durability in hot and sandy conditions with a new sand resistant coating and upgraded high pressure turbine blades. The upgraded Trent XWB84 is expected to be certified by the end of the year and will enter service in 2025 for Airbus A35900 aircraft. Rolls-Royce had initially planned to deliver the engines to Singapore Airlines by late 2019, but this timeline has since been delayed. These engines will be used primarily on the A35900 Ultra Long Range ULR fleet, which has 161 seats and can fly up to 9,700 nautical miles, more than the standard variant's 8,300 nautical miles. A 1% fuel saving on such long routes can offer substantial operational and cost benefits. These engines are also suitable for all A35900, not just the ULR, and can be paired with the existing XWB84 to streamline operations. The standard variant, with a thrust rating of 84,200 pounds, is designed to optimize long-haul performance for the A35900. Currently, there are 295 Airbus aircraft equipped with this Rolls-Royce engine, which supports a maximum takeoff weight, MTAU for short, of 617,295 pounds. It incorporates advanced technologies to enhance thermodynamic performance and durability. Notably, it achieves about a 15% reduction in fuel consumption compared to older engines thanks to its innovative design. The engine features a large fan and a sophisticated cooling system, allowing it to operate efficiently under demanding conditions. Additionally, the Trent XWB84 is engineered to reduce noise and emissions, meeting stringent environmental standards. 
Overall, it contributes significantly to the performance of the A350-900, helping airlines cut costs and boost operational efficiency. The commercial aviation industry is under increasing pressure to clean up its emissions. While aviation is a relatively small contributor, accounting for only 2.4% of global carbon dioxide emissions, the sector's relative share of emissions is projected to triple by 2050 due to a surge in air traffic and successful decarbonization in other sectors of the economy. Aware of the risk of being labeled as a climate villain, the industry has set a target to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050. This goal has become a focal point for the development of many potential new engines both now and in the future, with CFM Rise and Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 being prime examples. Essentially, the design goals of the two engines are different. While the CFM Rise, which stands for Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines, is designed to reduce fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions by 20% compared to current engines. The Trent XWB84 is one of the most efficient engines in Rolls-Royce's Trent series, designed to deliver high performance and reduce fuel consumption for wide-body aircraft. In terms of application, it seems that the CFM Rise will be suited for narrow-body aircraft and may be adapted for various future aircraft models, while the Trent XWB84 will be ideal for wide-body aircraft, such as the A350 XWB. Today's episode will cover some aspects that we may not have been able to analyze in depth. If you'd like to add anything, or if there's any specific aspect you'd like us to analyze further, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you, and see you next time.